this is an attribute control chart example it the question says that a professor would like to see how he or she is doing in terms of her multiple choice questions so she said all these questions in d2l and then because it's a uh, kind of true false type of question or even at a multiple choice either you get right answer or wrong answer so the distribution can be viewed as a binomial distribution so either a question can get wrong or it could get uh, right the same thing for it could also be viewed as a person when you think um, you know you don't know when a student might get a question wrong or the professor so it's a memoryless you can also think that's a memoryless distribution as well so you can either do Poisson or um, uh, binomial distribution you get basically uh, mostly almost exact same information from either of these two distribution check my other videos on module I think it's on module uh, eight or let me go back so this is a uh, um, the module 7 that talks about the difference between Poisson and binomial they're basically same thing um, also check that video it says uh, which attribute chart to apply so the first question on this exam um, is asking that what is the appropriate most appropriate control chart so because it's a binomial distribution and it's a fixed sample size so we can do NP chart so that would be the most appropriate chart so you can check the other videos on how to create the NP chart um, and so here you got all these lists how to create P chart NP chart and things like that so um, let's go to the question again so let's create NP chart uh, that would be the most appropriate revised control chart create second most appropriate control chart uh, that would be a C chart um, you could also do P chart but P chart or U chart is a proportion which is difficult to explain or see or understand so let's create an uh, in P chart so I have copied this data here in mini tab I'll show you how to do it in mini tab here you can always check how to do it in um, the Excel attribute chart I want to create NP chart so say it's coming on probably too much stuff running behind the scene um, so this is the uh, variable and my group size is 50 questions so she has 50 questions multiple choice I'll just hit OK so this will create my NP chart so here is the NP chart so I got some people on the borderline I always still think that's just okay some people just get um, a um, some people fail things like that now once again for the variable control chart you can only delete a point if that point has any particular cause let's say this first student um, has something had some sickness before the exam was not able to study so if we know some reason for these points to go out of control lines here we can see the control line is between 35 questions to 50 questions so we can delete let's assume question number ha one has some specific cause to be go out of control so we can actually delete that point if we want let's see I think the easiest thing would be to delete the whole thing I always like to use Excel which is easy um, I'm gonna copy to another sheet so I don't lose my original data set now I'm gonna delete that whole row of that first student let's assume that this student has some kind of assignable causes for him or her to go out of uh, the let me turn off my speaker go out of the control line so let's do recreate it so that would be the revise so we already created that this is the NP chart now we're going to create the revise chart by deleting the out of control points you cannot delete out of control points if it doesn't have any specific reasons to it so if you delete that and create the chart again this is what the NP chart look like now the second best appropriate would be a P chart 
or C chart or U chart now um, let's create that um, C chart um, you will see something strange you, uh, and then we'll figure out that is for this particular example uh, maybe C chart is not a good idea so you just do that create that so now if you look at this I the the professor had only 50 questions now you can see in the C chart the control limit goes from 23 to 63 so um, it's giving you the same kind of terrain though however the numbers kind of changes in a way now it's very difficult to explain because it's a, a question for the exam you got 50 multiple choice type of questions or true false now the control line goes to 63 which is difficult to explain so if you create basically a P chart that will probably be a little bit better than a C chart even though C chart is difficult easy to explain however if you if it goes kind of out of explanation in this case it has only 50 questions but the control limit is showing 63 now if you look at the in P, P chart that makes sense so the control limit is out of one which is hundred percent and then uh, it is start from the 72 percent so what you can say is this class is range between a if 70 percent is a C grade so the control lines are between the 70 percent and the hundred percent is an A grade so it by creating a P chart it makes real good sense uh, so either in this case you create in P chart or P chart so C chart is not really that appropriate because the control line kinds of goes um, you know I don't know how to explain this same thing for U chart if you create an U chart you'll see that it's not really that appropriate in this case even though you can do any of the charts so they all kinds of applies but it's, it's some of them are not um, so you can see it went from 1.26 so instead of 100% now it ranges between 46% to uh, 126% in this case is not really that appropriate so I would say the most appropriate would be NP chart for easy understanding and then the second most appropriate would be P chart uh, so to answer these questions you can always play in mini tab to answer this question we don't which one makes more sense it depends on the situation in this case of course NP chart would be your first answer second would be uh, P chart what's the process performance this is the question most student missed which is the easiest question in the world the process capability the process capability for any of this attribute chart is the center line so in this case for the NP chart 43.43 questions out of 50 questions are answered correctly so that's the process capability you can say if you multiply by 2 just to get in 100% it becomes 86.86% so the average grade B or B average B above or 87% is the process capability so the center line is the process capability. same for the U chart C chart the center line is the process capability the easiest question that is missed the most in the exam now if the typical grading is using 90% A, 80% B, what's the average grade in the class? As we have said, is 87%, so that's a B grade. Is there any advantage of doing one chart over the other chart, blah, blah, blah? We talk about that, which chart. So in this case, P chart or NP chart makes more sense than anything else.